David Howard's art scene. Benny Tchaikovsky, Beyond the Realm of Duality. Tchaikovsky lives and works here in San Anselmo, California. Tchaikovsky, born in Rio de Janeiro to Russian and Polish immigrants, started to draw and paint at the age of 13. By 17, he was selected among hundreds of candidates to exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art in Rio. I see myself as a human being that likes to create. Now, Benny lives here on this tree-lined street after living in cosmopolitan Brazil, New York, Europe, and California. This is an example of one of Benny's creations. His artworks cannot be bound by labels, trends, or medium. You can feel that there is something behind. There is a force, there is a power behind that is moving through you. And uh, then you have all really unexpected uh, things coming that you don't know where it comes from. But you have a feeling that you're connecting with something that is behind everything and is the source of everything. So actually for me, art is a medium, is a weapon to connect to the source and to be in touch with the source. And through this, to, to develop myself, it's all connected. But I think in all arts, or in everything, the main thing you have to practice is to forget yourself. So uh, it doesn't matter what you're doing, if it's music, or painting, or even sciences, the main thing is to forget yourself, and to jump into the dark, so you can come up with, uh, with something new and unexpected, because as far as, uh, as you go copying things that are already from the past, they're already there, you're just going around in circles and you're not contributing anything. And uh, once you're able to do that, to forget yourself, and that's the whole practice, you know, then you start feeling this connection with something that is holding you. Because you're jumping in the dark, but then you don't fall down. Then something that comes and holds you and leads you in a certain direction. And... Uh, that's, that's what I think is the important thing, and that's when something special comes. And uh, that's the same thing with music, the, you know, certain moments when you feel that something special is happening. And usually that comes into, uh, you know, improvising moments or... So I think, uh, you know, it's uh, always to strive for those moments and to... And the practice is the practice of forgetting yourself. I have projects, which I've done before when I was in Europe. I had a multimedia uh, group and we were doing a project. And uh, I see the future of my art and the future of, uh, of art itself, I think, is uniting all different medias into one thing. And for this thing to express, you know, all together, like music and uh, video and maybe theater, everything together and visual things uh, to express one thing. So the, the whole experience is so powerful that really is going to take you away into a different, you know, uh, experience. And I think with technology, maybe I see the future of painting and I would like to imagine that of really being able to create uh, three-dimensional paintings and to have people live in them and go through them and to experience 
you know, a new world, and uh, maybe that's gonna happen. I see them as a, as a way of communicating because I think words are a very limited way of communicating and usually you have all these images that surround words. So if you have a feeling, especially if it's a feeling that is it's not a dualistic feeling or it's beyond the, you know, let's say the realm of the world is a special feeling, it's really hard to express that in words because uh, once you do it, you, you freeze the feeling because the words have so many preconceived images around them that uh, you end up losing the feeling in the expression in words. So I try, what I try to do is to express these feelings uh, in a way that is a direct uh, communication that uh, you don't have preconceived images or ideas, so that you just have a feeling that you know what, you know, it's a direct communication of feeling. You just have to feel it. You can't explain. That's the whole thing, you know. You can't explain a feeling. You have to feel it. So that's what I try to get across. And as I see it, is, uh, is try to get across a feeling you know, that you can't express in words. That is not possible to express these feelings in words. So, and to point to a, to point to a certain direction, you know, a direction that is actually beyond the realm of words. Different planes of consciousness and levels of reality, I mean, it's not a question of belief, I think it's a fact, you know, and it's everybody's experience that uh, they are there. I mean, if you dream, you have already a different level of reality and uh, different perceptions. Um, I mean, it's a fact. And, uh, I think it's important to explore that, you know, and I think through creativity, through painting, music, I mean, I think it's all related. You, it's, I think it's a, it's a means to explore that. And I think it's important to explore that because uh, as human beings, I think uh, it's our duty to find out why we are here and uh, what's the meaning of all this and to ask questions and to explore things and to go deeper. And so we can use, we have the, the means to do that, I think, through, through creativity. And uh, I think uh, it, can, it can help you to reach different levels of perceptions through music or through painting. Those are things that can help you raise your level of perception and sensitivity. 
Tchaikovsky's studio was an unusual collection of creations which Bainey had executed and archived during his career in art. I reflected on his pictures and he told me, the division between art, music, and science are not real in themselves. They are created by man. Words create the illusion of division and separation forming a dualistic dimension. All comes from the same source. To create is the point, and to be creative is to be in touch with this source. The elements that make a great piece of art is just that element of magic that happens spontaneously in the moment without a preconceived idea or without, without any plan. And that's when, when this element of something that is behind everything, there's something mysterious, uh, comes true. And then uh, I think that's, that's when uh, you get a special feeling and that's when something touches you, when you feel that there's something mysterious behind that. And uh, that's what makes uh, great art for me. In the art world, I'm sure there are sensitive people, there are people that are open-minded and uh, they try to understand and uh, maybe sometimes have the courage to to try something new and not just think about the financial side or uh, of the business side. So what I like is, uh, I guess, the people that are there, that are not narrow-minded uh, and that uh, are sensitive, you know, are in it not just for financial reasons, but in it because they love it. To come in contact, I mean to connect, and if you have to put a word, I would say to a different dimension. And, uh, you know, to get in contact with this different dimension, I think that words and images they create a, a dualistic dimension, which is what, you know, the dimension we usually live in. But I think there's other dimensions behind that and beyond that. And uh, that's, that's what I try to do, is to connect to this other dimension to creating, you know. And uh, that's what I mean about connecting is connecting to this other dimension and uh, which is actually you have a feeling is the source of all dimensions because it's the source of all the energy. That's what motivates me is the challenge to that I'm, I can do anything I want. I'm free to create and to do anything I want and to just to explore different, uh, different things and different color combinations and, uh, you know, invent different worlds. And uh, it's the freedom to create in this uh, white space. What I don't like is the, is the business, the galleries that are commercial, that just think about the, the business side, which is part of it too, of course, but uh, you, have to, you have to be open to new things. You know, I mean, I think it's the responsibility of a gallery to promote new things and to uh, you know, give to the, public, to the public new, uh, new experiences. 
and expose them to new things and not just repeat the same old thing because they know it's going to sell or, uh, you know, for whatever reasons uh, they may have that are not the right reasons. So I think uh, I dislike the narrow-mindedness of, uh, of this side of the art world. Well, I think the visual impact of the work and how the people get involved in it, they're both interrelated. And I think the visual impact is important to call the attention to the work. But uh, I think it's important to, to have the substance. Once you call the attention, you've got to have something to give. So I don't think that uh, just a visual impact is enough. And uh, I think it's necessary for a work to have substance to really reach somebody. So I think they both go together, and I don't think one could be without the other. I think for me, anyway, it's important that they both help each other to be, a, you know, as powerful and strong as possible to try to to catch the intention of uh, of the person and give uh, give something back to this person. The most rewarding thing in art, I think for me, is the is to paint, you know, and to and the most rewarding thing is, is when uh, things come up that uh, they are unexpected and that you never thought you would be able to to come up with something like that, and then it's not you; it's just something that is happening, and uh, that's the most rewarding thing is to feel you know, this process happening, that you're just uh, a vehicle for something that uh, comes through you and expresses itself in an intelligent and quite amazing way. And uh, that's the, the main and the most rewarding aspect. <laughs> I think that uh, the main point is uh, is to create. You know, I don't I don't see myself as an artist or as this or that. You know, I see myself more as a as an explorer or as a scientist that likes to to uh, 
observe things and go into things. And uh, painting, for example, is just one medium that you can use. And uh, I think the main point is to be creative because when you're creative, you, you can feel you're in touch with a different, uh, there's something happening behind. So, and the way I create is like improvising, so I never know what's gonna happen. So it's always a surprise with what I do. And uh, in that process, you can feel that there's something behind. There's a force, there's a power behind that is moving through you. Usually I don't have any plans. I just start something and I never know what's gonna be. I just have a basic idea or, you know, for example here, it's, I just started and I don't know what's gonna be at all. I just went this far, I just thought about doing a, a door and uh, that's as far as it is right now and I have no idea what's gonna happen. So I'm, I'm curious myself and uh, the only way to find out is to, to do it. And, uh, and that's what makes me do it, because uh, I'm curious to find out what's going to come out. I think to have an effect in the evolution of art, you have to do something original and you have to give a contribution. So it's not a question, that's, so that's the only way you can have an effect, is to be original and uh, try to do something different, try to do things that has never been done before. And uh, that's, that's what I always strive for, to do new things and to do things that has never been done before and never to look at what other people are doing because I think everybody is unique and you have to find out your own way and your, your own contribution, what you have to give and you have to explore that. So if you explore it and if you go into it, then uh, and be yourself and be original, then there's always a contribution to be, to be made. As far as my own personal development goes, my, my art have changed as my life have changed and goes through different phases and that's, you know, the art expresses the phases that I'm going through and the places that I live and uh, the atmospheres and the insights I had at that moment in time about my life and about other things. So, uh, it's a changing thing, it's always changing. And, uh, but uh, you can't pinpoint um, and say, you know, to describe how the changes really, uh, you know, to define the changes. You just have to, to feel them and go through them and then you see them happening.
Yeah, real reality, I think, is beyond all this. And it uh, belongs to a different level of being. And, well, different, different dimensions. It's behind everything, you know. This is just part of it. It's just a small part. And uh, there's, there's a lot that we have to find out.